Greetings. Greetings from Hyderabad, India. And uh, we're just sitting here sipping our chai. I assume that you're uh, probably sipping uh, a little chai by yourself. And I hope you've really enjoyed the evening. I hope you're having fun and uh, hope it's a really meaningful experience for you. And thanks for following us all week long, really. And really quick, a, a shout out to uh, my wife and Dave's wife for letting us do this. We really appreciate you and uh, love you for letting us do that. Hey, uh, you know what? Um, it's We've really had a meaningful experience, haven't we, Dave? We really have. It's it, been wonderful. It, it is. Uh, we have no words for it. Uh, just so excited. We met so many wonderful Indian people along the way. I mean, they're just so friendly and so kind and want to have their pictures with us. And uh, I would you come up real quick? Come on up real fast. I, I just met these guys minutes ago, okay, because this little daughter's up for adoption. And uh, they were telling me her story, folks. Dad left because he had a girl child. This is so not uncommon. This is so very common in, uh, in India where uh, a parent has, has a girl child and they say, I'm gone. Or, you know, they, they maybe even cry because they had a, a daughter instead of a son. And uh, that is just so sad. And this is, this is real life. I, I need you to see a face to understand the environment for what we're talking about tonight. And uh, it's very sad, but mom's doing a great job here. And, uh, and she, again, she came because she needs some assistance. So this little girl's up for sponsorship. But that's not what I wanted to point out as much as it is the hard life of a girl child in India and, and a parent. Okay. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. You know, we've had some of our share of uh, security concerns, which kind of our posts kind of had to be kind of dumbed down uh, a little bit because we can't use words like Jesus. And even raising money in any way and showing that child's face uh, puts us in danger, but also puts our, our partners in danger. So we had to really be careful there. But I, you maybe you heard this, but this is so crazy. Dave, we were on a plane. We were on a plane flying to India. And while this is happening, our tuk-tuk is stolen. It is hidden and it is being disassembled. And, uh, I mean, you know, Justice grows, uh, grinds very slowly in India. It's a miracle. They were able to find it. They were able to put it all back together. And there's so much more to that story. But we're literally on our way to India with no tuk-tuk. Mary is over here having, uh, you know, conniptions. And, uh, wow, we just appreciate uh, your prayers. It really means a lot. Quickly, come on up, um, Mary. Uh, this is, I just want to show you her face. This is Mary. Uh, she is just worked so hard for us. And she talked about, really, a lot of spiritual wherefore welfare i can't even talk Warfare. that's the word uh over this last uh you know two weeks i mean they really suffered uh, in many ways emotionally and mentally uh preparing for this trip she's uh really the brains of our outfit and her sister sarah is actually running the camera and between the two of them they just do an amazing job and we appreciate you guys thank, thank you mary you do a great job hey just before we get to the main event here um with Akila, we just felt we uh, needed to help you understand the environment from when she gives her testimony, okay? And I've got three quick things for you. One is persecution in India is real, folks. It is real. Well, especially when we're in northern India, we don't feel it quite as much here, but when we were in northern India, we really felt like everyone was suspicious of us and, and watching and wanted to know why we were there. And uh, we had to be really careful, uh, not just for our lives, but really to, we don't make it more complicated for our partners, uh, unwanted attention. Um, you know, you may recall the story of a missionary, maybe not, but his name was Graham Smith. And that's about 20 years ago. And him and his two young boys were burned alive uh, in, a, in a car uh, for being missionaries over here. So I need you to understand that, you know, persecution is real. Also, I need you to understand, as you hear her testimony, uh, this is a country chocked full of gods. I mean, they have gods everywhere. There are temples everywhere. I think there's like 2 million Hindu temples uh, just in this country alone. Uh, there are shrines everywhere. So it, it's, there's a lot of uh, spiritual darkness in this country. But hey, here's the real hero, okay? This is Akila. Uh, yes. Yes? Yes. Still Akila. And uh, we've known her uh, many times over the years, and we love having fun with her. And uh, she's been in the program as, as a child and also as, as a youth. And she took a four-hour bus ride uh, for one reason, okay? She, we're not paying her money to be here. Uh, she wanted to talk to you. She wanted to be able to tell her story. Start off with this. What circumstances brought you to this 
an orphan home, which was called Home of the Champions. Before I came to this home, uh, uh, when I was in second standard, my dad was uh, died with appendix pain, and uh, my mom, uh, when I was in uh, seventh standard, she was died with cancer. Uh, there is uh, nobody is care take care about me, and only my grandmother is there. Uh, she she know one uncle and uh, the uncle knows this home and uh, we came here uh, with uh, that uncle helped uh, when I when I came here uh, I don't know about uh, Jesus uh, I don't know how to pray and how to live it's okay take your time. You've had a hard journey, haven't you? You've had a hard journey. Yeah. Let me, how, how, is it, how have you benefited from being here, would you say? What was the benefit of being a part of the program? When I came here, um, I got good clothes. Before, there is no clothes to wear also. And... I don't know about Jesus also. When I came here, I know about Jesus. And uh, firstly, I came here, I feel very lonely. Uh, but here, uh, caretakers and uh, sisters and brothers, Uncle Sudhakar, uh, they caretaker me more. Uh, this is suggestions you can leave here, means you. You got you gods give you good good life to you. Uh, when I here I came in eighth standard. So here I am sitting. This is the example. This is this is number. This is my beautiful life. Yeah. I completed MBA and and we went uh, and gods given me good husband also. In you are sending the funds, we helped the fund helped me more. Uh, we for education, training, mission, and uh, you know, you actually have a master's degree, right? Yes, yeah, in it, like accounting. Yes, okay, so she went from these very harsh environment, made her way here, and then with the help of forgotten children, you were able to go to university. You got a master's degree. Yes. You got a job in accounting. Yes. Um, come on, isn't that great? I mean, man, we should all be, you know, celebrating with a big praise Jesus. Okay, that is really great. We're so happy for you. Let me just ask you, uh, maybe just one more question. What What would you like to say to the people living in America? You can say anything you want. I have no idea what you're going to say. This is not a setup. Okay. What What would you like to say? Here, in India, the orphan children they don't take care more. Yeah, they all peoples are not like that. Some peoples don't take care more, uh, but uh, but in Jesus, Uncle Sudhakar came for to help with your help. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, the pastor of the church. That you are far, but given more love to me. Brother Dave is my sponsor. Yes, <laughs> he's given me my beautiful life. Uh, every year he comes from America. I'm so excited when he comes. Uh, he can he shows uh, family pics and I will and he shows video calls from there. Uh, I'm so happy for giving this beautiful life, brother. Yeah. So <laughs> Dave came in 2014 and they met and he went home and pretty sponsored and now he gets to come see his kid every time he comes here. Yeah, so I love it. yep, it's like like our daughter and that that's beautiful. I mean, in a synopsis, would you say? that she was protected, she was empowered, and she's loved. And she's loved by Jesus. And uh, look, at I mean, just a beautiful soul. That's just uh, a pure soul. Thank you for sharing your testimony. We appreciate that so very much. Folks, I hope you've caught the uh, difficult and challenging environment in India. If you've been following us at all this week, even partially, I hope you understand how complicated it can be here. And, uh, you know, I hope you can see why we need to come alongside the Aquilas of this world, okay? Uh, especially if you're out of caste, by the way. And if you're a girl, you have such a steep incline. And uh, 
you know what, uh, I'm just going to talk to believers here quickly and I'll let you go. But, you know, as believers, you know, justice is supposed to be front and center for us as Christians. Right, Dave? Absolutely. I mean, it's just in the Old Testament, in the New Testament, if you follow Jesus at all, he, he is about justice. And you might say, well, okay, man, I, you know, some people struggle with that term justice, but uh, I hope we don't. We shouldn't because it's part of our mandate. But I, would, I define it this way. I wrote it down. Justice is stepping up anytime someone gets kicked to the curb. If somebody gets kicked to the curb, if they're marginalized, if they can't, they don't have a handle to help themselves out, somebody has got to supply that to them. They can't pull themselves up by the bootstraps. They need us to give them a bootstrap. And that's what we're, tonight is about. I just, I just, you know, with all within inside of me, I hope you'll be generous and I hope you'll think about what you've heard this week, but what you've especially seen tonight and resonate and just just do what you wish someone else would do for you if you're in this situation. That's all we're asking. That's between you and God. Thanks so much. Appreciate you guys. Have a good evening, all right? Eat the rest of your dessert. Good night. Mm -hmm.